by ons dan nou aangesluit. Uh, Nathan Smith, uh, Nathan, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning via Skype. Uh, we really appreciate. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks. Good to be part of it. Sure. So uh, let's start at the very beginning. I think for those who are not necessarily familiar uh, with who you are and what you are doing, uh, just a, a bit of background, the passion for music. How did that actually originate? Well, uh, I grew up in a musical home with both my parents being music teachers. And uh, my father taught me how to play guitar at a, at a young age, well, youngish age at, at 11. And yeah, since there, it's it's been downhill from there. You know, I've been um, you know performing from the age of thirteen already in uh, different venues and on TV around the country. So it's 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 been quite a journey. I can only <laughs> imagine. Um, Nathan, your name, yeah. Both your parents, they were uh, music teachers. So do you think it just uh, came naturally, or did you have a backup like go study accounting? Funny you mention it. I actually was going to go study accounting. Hey, <laughs> I know my Google. <laughs> well, um, in my final year at school, in my matric year, I, I, I was still ready to go and study and to, to become a CA. And uh, in the last couple of months, I, I turned around and said to my father, no, I, I think I have to do this music thing, you know, mm. and um, ended up... Uh, taking the plunge and went down the music path, you know, and only. If, and if you... Anything. If, oh, sorry, I've, I interrupted you there. If, you, if we talk hours, the amount of hours that you put in, I mean, started playing at 11, and, and also, I mean, being able to be a session, it's, it's kind of, I mean, the pressure is massive, playing with some of the best guys, big names will get there. But the kind of hours that you put in as a kid and even today... Yes, you know it, it does. It takes a lot of time to to um, actually polish your craft and make sure that you, on top of your game, you know, there's in the session world especially, there's no time for uh, let me just quickly go and check this out or do that. It's on the fly. You get the stuff and you got to go. You know, you got to make it happen. So, yes, the pressure is real, but uh, that's where you make sure you do your homework at home and. Uh, not at the gig or at the show now or at rehearsal for that matter. Nathan, as you've mentioned, I mean, you start playing basically at the age of, what, 13 years old. Um, would you actually recommend that uh, to, to the younger generation to start as young as possible? Or do you think it's better to perhaps just allow yourself some time to develop as an artist and maybe only enter the industry a bit later? Yeah, you know, it's it's a tough one, you know. Uh, there's there's a couple of different ways to see it all. Some people say, yeah, start young, start young, and then it's kind of like that, so they say, vroeg reip, vroeg vroeg vibe, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know. But uh, look, an early start does always help, you know. You you get, um, you, you kind of get uh, weaned into it a whole lot, Better than just kind of, but then some people have started later on in life. Like I know, I, I believe Moritz Slots only started in his early twenties or something, and um, and he made a fantastic career. Still is, you know, with uh, with that with that line of the music industry. So yeah, man, there is. I, I don't think there's a rule book there. You know, I think you just got to go with it. But the the big thing is put in the time. You know, don't. Don't uh, just sit around and wait for, for the best, you know, put in the time and then uh, you usually work finds your way because of your efforts, you know. So Nathan, um, is it on your cards just to sometimes uh, maybe open a show for Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time. No, I'm lying. You're looking like you just, for me, you look like Ray Dillon. Um, the people are wrong. Uh, no, listen, you, you're bringing out some original music, your own music uh, release in April this year. Uh, tell us more about that. And then uh, I'm, I want to talk, and this, that's the bad part, about your just your shows coming up and basically the whole disaster of the coronavirus. But let's just start with what, what, what's your plan with the music this year? Well, I've been, besides the session work, I've, I've been doing my own shows and... Uh, and getting into the uh, 
production side of things, live production. And I started touring with a show of mine called Guitar Legends, which pays tribute to the likes of Eric Clapton, Die Straits, John Mayer, the newer guys, mm. and Floyd, you know, the, the, the real classic singing guitar players. And uh, what I did then is I started putting some of my originals into the show, and the originals got great response, you know. And I, I decided then, well, um, I, I've, I have a lot of material through the years of writing. I've been writing from a young age as well. And um, why not just uh, record an album? And uh, I'm so glad I did, man. I just finished tracking. I got the mixes back. Mm. And... Uh, it's sounding great. Launching in, uh, well, the hope is to launch in, in, in mid-April, going to, to mid-May. There's a countrywide tour that's booked. Well, it's there. Yeah. Uh, we, we're hoping that it goes through, as, as we know the circumstance you know, in the country. But, um, yeah, and then to then just launch the album and uh, get the original music out there. Uh, yeah, I think luckily they said it's still the 18th of April. So, I mean, and it's from Rustenburg, Pretoria. People can go check it on your website where you're going to do this launch. So all of the best. We all hope it's that ban is going to be lifted by then. And even TV. I mean, you've worked on big shows, The Voice, um, and even, I mean, big productions like Afrikaans is Groot. Uh, your favorite stuff to do, like, like TV or with other guys on stage? Uh, sorry, what was that? What, what, what was the question? Uh, the question is, between the big shows that you've done, like Afrikaans is Groot, but you also have done big TV shows, you know, different dynamics, but what's your favorite? The TV shows like The Voice? Um... Uh, you know, I'm, I must say I, I like them for different reasons. Um, shows like uh, The Voice, I'm, I'm usually part of the lives. I have done part of the, uh, I have done the battles and... and uh, they call it the blinds as well, the blind auditions. And uh, I enjoy the pressure of, of live TV, knowing that I guess it's the same when you play a live show, you know. Um, but live TV, you kind of know, man, you got one shot and it's going down and it's recorded for good, you know. Mm. Um, I, I enjoy that. I, I kind of get a thrill out of that. <laughs> mm. And uh, live shows, it's always about the energy, you know. Mm. I mean, we get up there and there's X amount of thousands of people and and they're all there to have a good time and you just feed off that energy and go for it, man. Mm. You know, I, I love that side of it, the energy from live shows and the thrill of, of live TV and nerd for nerd as well, knowing that you've got one shot to get this right, you mm. know, or the person's going to make the wrong uh, kind of call on the song because... You know, if you make a mistake, so there's a lot of pressure on, on that side of the thing with the TV thing. Like I said, which is quite exciting to mm. some degree. And just the last <laughs> last question: What guitar are you playing? What guitar? Ooh, What's your brand, man? I I'm a, at the moment I'm I'm a tool for the job kind of guy. But my main workhorses are Fender Strat mm. um, and the Gibson Les Paul for the two different worlds you know so those are my two main workhorses mm. yeah jealous thank you for your time um this is one of the best scouts you look relaxed and it's not just a fight so nathan all of the best and we holding thumbs for for the launching dates in the tour thank you so much appreciate it thanks for your time great Lovely stuff chatting. cheers